We, the people, declare today that the most evident of truths, that all of us are created equal, is the star that guides us still, just as it guided our forebears through Seneca Falls and Selma and Stonewall, just as it guided all those men and women, sung and unsung, who left footprints along this great mall to hear a preacher say that we cannot walk alone, to hear a king proclaim that our individual freedom is inextricably bound to the freedom of every soul on earth. So today we welcome Stonewall and Christopher Park into the family of the Grand Canyon, of Yosemite, of the Statue of Liberty, of America's most important places, and that this story is a key component to the American experience. The spirit that emerged outside a mafia-run bar in 1969 became the pulse of the gay community and inspired not just an annual parade, but the expression of gay pride in individual lives. Stonewall happens every day. Police raided the Stonewall Inn, a homosexual bar located in Greenwich Village, New York. The people in the village and the bar patrons decided they had enough of the treatment of the homosexual community and resolved to riot against the police force. These riots lasted six days and brought attention to widespread discrimination against the homosexual community. I must say, when it was all over, I sat on one of the stoops and, you know, riots have a smell and riots have a look. And the aftermath of the riot was very beautiful. The sun was going to come up, the street was littered with broken glass. It looked like diamonds. It like, looked like it was going to be our only reward, this beauty, for what we did. But I thought... Through acts of protest and conflict with law enforcement, the Stonewall riots became a catalyst for LGBTQ plus rights, ultimately leading to the process towards equality for many Americans. The LGBTQ plus movement scarcely existed before the Stonewall riots. Many homosexual people kept a secret about what they did because they were worried about the consequences of their actions. A few gay rights organizations that existed before the Stonewall riots were the Mattachine Society, One Inc., a magazine company, and the Daughters of Belitis. The Mattachine Society was established in Los Angeles, California in 1950. This group was led by Harry Hay and was the first organization that promoted the rights of homosexual males. In 1952, a homosexual organization known as One Inc., had a fully functional structure that included a public office, administrative infrastructure, logistics, a telephone, and the first homosexual publication to reach the general public, one magazine. Later in the decade, specifically in 1955, the Daughters of Belitis met in San Diego, California, and became the first organization to promote the rights of homosexual females. In the morning of June 28, 1969, Police raided a homosexual bar in Greenwich Village called the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall Inn was owned by the Mafia. At the time, the Mafia routinely paid members of the police force to tip them off when a raid was going to happen, so the bar could prepare and warn its patrons. But this time, the police did not tip off the bar and instead showed up with a search warrant. The law enforcement officers roughed up patrons, found illegal alcohol, and arrested 13 people. Those arrested included employees and people violating the state's gender-appropriate clothing statute. To determine if they were violating the clothing statute, female officers would take the people into a bathroom and check their sex. Bar patrons and neighborhood residents had become increasingly fed up with police harassment and social discrimination. It was just the right time and the right place. Because when they came to get us out of there, nobody moved. They started chanting, don't arrest the girls, don't arrest the girls. And something happened either some like a boom i don't know if it was a firecracker they say someone threw a beer bottle someone else did someone one of the girls took her heel and broke one a play glass window i don't know what the hell it was all i know is that all of a sudden everybody was fighting while the police were dragging employees and patrons out of the bar other angry patrons and neighborhood residents stood outside the bar watching the raid unfold some police officers became agitated, and a lesbian woman was hit over the head when she was put into a paddy wagon. A few minutes later, a full-blown riot with hundreds of people was underway. The mob tried to set police barricades on fire, and the fire department was unable to stop them. 
That night, it all changed. Now, whenever you use or you're around a, a barbecue and you smell lighting fluid, remember the stone wall. Because all the air around here that night smelled like lighting fluid. People were making little fires, or big fires, and throwing them all over the place. And the rest is history. These riots continued for five more days and spread into Christopher Street in front of the Stonewall Inn, neighboring streets, and Christopher Park. What happened here on that warm summer night at 1.15 a.m. when police raided the Stonewall Inn served as a tipping point. People started coming out of the closet. LGBT people around the country began to speak out and protest. Self-awareness grew and America's perception of the LGBT community just began to change. After this happened, many in the LGBTQ community felt they needed to band together to demand their rights. This riot may not have been the first revolt against police persecution of homosexual behavior, but it is most dramatic and served as, as a catalyst for future movements. The Stonewall Riot made Americans more aware of the discrimination endured by homosexual individuals. This impact is evident by the yearly parade called World Pride, which is held in New York City. This movement, though long and hard fought, ultimately resulted in the decriminalization of sexuality and the legal and cultural acceptance of LGBTQ plus people in American society, including such rights as openly serving in military and marrying a same-sex partner. The Stonewall Riots were the catalyst for national movement demanding LGBTQ plus rights and continue, continue to serve as an inspiration for activists today. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well.